Praise the Lord, brethren. My name is Baluka Masi. I'm a member of Scripture Union Eastern Region. A student at Livingstone International University. I'm a born again and I love God. I'm glad to be sharing with you the Word of God today. Our theme is faith. We are going to learn how we can have faith in Jesus Christ so that we can stop having faith in people. When someone asks you about faith, what do you understand by it? Let us read Hebrews 11 verse 1. Faith is something we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. So having faith, it does not mean that you need to first see or what you want, then you start having faith. No, no, no. Dear friend, faith is something that we hope for and what we do not see. Let us read Hebrews 11 verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe and he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. We need to believe God in everything. We need to put our faith in him. Let us stop putting faith in human beings. When you put your faith in human beings, expect disappointments. And when you put your faith in the Lord, you will never be disappointed. Trust me, my dear friend, our Lord is always awake. Wherever we go to him, telling him our problems, that means you have trusted him. And at the end, he fights your battles. Let us put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Hebrews 12 verse 2, that fixing our eyes on Jesus Christ, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith, that the joy that we set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Mark 5, 25 to 34. We see a woman who was bleeding for 12 years. She spent all her wealth to see herself getting healed. Doctors tried their best, but the condition was just worsening. When the woman heard about Jesus, she started thinking inside her heart that if I have just, if I just touch Jesus' clock, I will be healed. The woman touched on the clock of Jesus and she was healed. It was her faith that healed her. Let us have that faith that the sick woman had in Jesus. When we are troubled with many problems, like in sickness, poverty, family issues, and education, and in business, in business, let us trust and believe in Jesus Christ, because he is the solution. To every problem, cry unto him, but do not cry to human beings. This woman first trusted the doctors, thinking they will heal her. She sold all her expensive things to gather money and take to the doctors to heal her. When the doctors used to heal her, the condition used to just worsen until she went to Jesus Christ for healing and it was her faith that made her to be healed. Dear friend, let us have faith in Jesus Christ. When we go in front of him in prayer, and request many things. Let us have that faith that he has answered our prayers. And when you are leaving the altar, just know that you have got what you have prayed for. As I conclude, my dear brothers and sisters, let us have faith in the Lord. Stop trusting people. Stop putting your faith in them. Stop trusting the world. I'm telling you, this world will disappoint you. But your faith in Jesus Christ, he will never disappoint you. Remember, he is a father. A father will never disappoint his child. He will always provide for his child. Always walk beside his child. 
I want you to know that Jesus loves you so much. He wants you to trust him, in him alone. Be blessed.